welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my future videos. In front of us, we have the Eaton Field BT Grundig Edition AM FM Stereo Shortwave Portable Radio. I bought this radio off of Amazon for a total of $99.99, and here it is. Just a cool, portable, shortwave radio. I love it. Here's the box came in. All right, a little information there. This box is huge. There's some writing on the side here. I don't know if you guys can make that out. There's some frequency there, some dimensions. Let me see if I bring that out. There you go. On the back of the box, got some writing, some features for you. FM with RDS. You got some fine tuning, uh, gain control. Yeah, 50 memory stations. That's not so hot, but you're hoping for more. But maybe in the future it'll do better. Um, you do get an AC adapter, which is nice. Cool. Uh, over here, they give a little thing. Field ready and field tested. The Eaton field receives most every radio wavelength. All right. And it's Bluetooth, too. So that's awesome. So if you're into Bluetooth devices, this will work for you. Uh, not so much, but people like that. And on this side, I really can't make it out here because the box is gigantic, but they give little symbols there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. And what do we get in the box? We got the power supply, which is a pretty bulky thing. Um, it is, there you go. You can read that. It's a uh, 7 volt, uh, 1.2 amp linear. It feels very heavy. Uh, and there's the polarity outside positive, uh, pull negative. All right, so that's nice to give that to you. Put that aside there. And then we get the manual feel BT radio illustration there in the front. Kind of goes into basics on how to use your radio. I will try to try to touch on everything. Again, pretty clear and concise. There's a little uh, so display here. Interesting thing is it says air and DAB. It must be for different radios. Still pretty cool. I loved it if it had air. It'd be awesome. It doesn't. All right. So yeah. Oh, here we go. Here's a cool thing. So tuning the shortwave frequency bands. Um, there's it's got three different uh, bands so it selects, and then it uh, gives you an idea of when to listen to them. You can also tune in in between the bands, which is really nice. Storing stations, pretty basic. It's got two alarms, all that fun stuff. So we'll talk about this. But there you go. Cool, in-depth little manual. All right. So let's bring on the radio. It's the shadow over here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. So I got this all the way up on the tripod. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So we had it for that box. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? I like this radio. It's pretty cool. Um, it, like I said, it costs 99 bucks. Pretty impressed with the price for what you get. So let's go over dimensions first. Um, across, we have 12 inches. We have a height of 7 inches. And we have a depth of 2 and 3 quarters of an inch. And I included the antenna on the back. It's kind of a weird spot for the antenna. I really don't like it because if you lay this, lay this radio flat, it's kind of hitting this antenna here. So yeah, I wish uh, that was a little different, like maybe up in here and recessed, but it's not. So for size comparison, I don't have a radio that's big enough to fit next to this, but if I put like my CC pocket up on the speaker grill, you can get an idea for how big this radio is. It's not, I mean, it's portable, but you're just, you're not walking to the supermarket with this thing. <laughs> uh, let's see, Altoids did, there you go. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there, there's that. Okay, so features of this radio, there's a lot of them. So I'll try to touch on them most. On the left-hand side here, it's a silver, like a silver paint job. So you got silver and black going on there. I like that look. It's pretty cool. Reminds me of the uh, Traveler 3 that I reviewed. And uh, that's a cool radio. I love that radio. It's a lot of fun. Little, little mini guy. I'll put a link up here for that video. So yeah, in the front here, it's an interesting speaker. Um... I read about it. I'm not sure exactly how big a speaker it is, but if you look here, it almost like there's like a mid-range or a high, like a tweeter here, a two-inch speaker. And then here, there's like a four-inch housing. And I think there's a speaker in there mounted in a reverse direction. And here, you'll see a little hole, and that's like a baseboard. So you got this a lot of bass and some highs coming through, and it sounds really good. So it's a unique way of, of uh, setting up the audio. Love it. Eaton. All right, so then we got our display. So... There's a switch here on the side, which I'll show you in a second. We can light that up permanently. Um, the display will show time when the power is off. 
battery level indicator you can see this is timer a and timer b and then at those spots if you had alarm set you can wake up to beep or wake up to radio so you have two different alarm settings which is nice all right so try to do this like one handed here okay so this here is your uh, band select switch you got fm bluetooth mode and you have a wide am or narrow am it also works in the shortwave and here we have uh, band select uh, for the medium wave, short wave one, short wave two, and short wave three. Okay, going down to the bottom knobs, we have the volume, the short wave uh, gain, bass, trouble controls. Nice little reset hole there if something goes wrong. Here we have a tuning knob. If you look, if there's a fine and there's a coarse. So I noticed there's they like put some kind of geared resistance here. I feel like this is harder to turn, and this is easier to turn. So it's, it's actually kind of nice that they did it that way. Uh, let's see, up here we have the power button for under condition VLBT. Power button uh, is also your sleep function, which is nice. So if you turn it on, which I can show you, it'll say on when you turn it on here. Come on. There we go. And then once it says on, you can toggle with the button how many minutes you want it to run. So we'll just turn that off. So if you just go to on, it turns that off. All right, so this is cool. I'll leave this on here and show you in a second. Um, this is the RDS info button and lock button. So we press and hold this, key lock comes up. Here we have uh, some buttons. It says timer A and timer B. If you look, they have secondary and, and triple functions almost. We got uh, pairing the device for Bluetooth and pause play for the Bluetooth. Here we have tuning step to change it between uh, slow, fast, and stop for the knob here, which is really nice. Here we have a mono stereo function on the timer B button. Here we have time set when the power is off and display function. Display function is cool. It'll put the clock in there when you hit it. Um, excuse me, that's the, yeah, it should be this one here. Oh, key lock is on. Yeah, there we go, rookie mistake. <laughs> so here, if you look, the time came up when I hit display. Frequency. So that's nice to have. Uh, Q tune, what that means is quick tuning. So when you're using that, I'll show you how to use that in a moment. Brightness control. So when the power is off, which will turn off, you can actually adjust the adjust the brightness. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. There we go. So low, medium, high. Okay. We'll put it on medium. There we are. Okay, we got alarm button, which is also secondary to your memory function. And then we have preset mode, so you can access your presets. We'll show you that too. Then we have the up and down tuning buttons and pause, or sorry, back and forward on your Bluetooth function. And of course, setting hour and minutes when you're setting your clock. Yay, there's so much to this radio. Yeah, hopefully get through it all. On the right hand side, there's a lot of stuff. Um, we have an antenna switch um, for external antenna or internal. I'll show you those on the back. Here we have a local DX switch for antenna sensitivity. Here we have the backlight on or off. If you put it on, it'll stay on until the batteries are dead. Um, when it's plugged in, you can don't have to worry. Here we have a line out, which is really nice. So you have that line level, a line in for auxiliary in to power, you know, to listen to radios that don't have Bluetooth. And then we have headphone jack. Headphone jack is awesome. This radio, its stereo is is just fantastic. I love it. So this, no hiss. Uh, low low no, you go to all the way down to zero and it, the volume just goes off completely the bass trouble controls sound good with the headphones just amazing headphone experience you're gonna love it just amazing i loved it and here's your dc input in seven volts all right so let's flip this around here on top you got this carrying strap which is a nice touch glad they have something to carry it with let's go in the back here we got the antenna so this antenna extends out to 40 oh boy it's a long 47 inches and it does pivot and it locks in pretty tight right here. So then it opens and this pivots this way and around. Of course, you just can't go forward with it because it's in the, the case is in the way here. But uh, it's a really good antenna. And then back here, you can see the uh, auxiliary antenna connections, FM external. You have an AM for medium wave external antenna. And you also have a short wave external antenna jack there. So there's your three antenna options. That's pretty cool for external antennas. Vented uh, cabinets here and then behind here, uh, is your 4D batteries. So if I can get this open without too much craziness. And I got my 4D batteries in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the radio on again. Oh, yeah. 
fun moving it around on camera. <laughs> so this little bad boy. Okay, let's go ahead and see if I can bring this down a little closer to get more personal with it. All right, that's getting pretty close. Okay, so I'll probably have to tilt this up. So the display here, we're going to turn it on. And we're on FM right now. And you'll notice, uh, here's the frequency. There's your signal uh, strength indicator up there. The tuning speed you're in, and fast. When you're in fast, it moves by 100 uh, kilohertz steps on FM. When you're on slow, it moves in uh, 10, 10K steps. Let me show you here. Um, so the, I'm trying to do this on camera, I can't <laughs> see this tuning step, there it is. So slow, you can fine tune the FM, which is pretty cool. And then if you go stop, then this does nothing when you turn it. So no matter what you do, it locks it out, but you can still go up and down with these buttons here on your normal speed. So that's kind of handy. Uh, fireworks time, we're going to hear those in the background. RDS, you can change it. Radio text, data, program type. So yeah, this is nice. And it, you know, it'll tell the station ID, depending on what they're broadcasting. You can also have it so the radio syncs time with it, but I don't do that. This RDS time signal thing doesn't work for me for some reason. The stations always screw up my time, so I turn that off, <laughs> which is a nice thing. Plus, uh, normally these buttons beep when you press them. I turn that option off also. And you can turn it on, so if you wanted, every time you hit this button and have a beep, there you go. Uh, so tuning the radio, you saw you can tune it. Am I still on lock? Yeah, I'm still on lock. Go up here. Okay, so I'll hit display. Okay, there we go, fast. So as you tune this knob, you can see it bringing it down. It goes a little faster when you go this way. So if you're like, ah, oh, I want to get down to that bottom of there. So you got the fine tuning. And you got the little faster speed there. But then also the really cool thing is this has quick tune. And this button here is really nice. You'll like this. This one lets you go really fast. So if you hit this button, it can get you through the band real quick. And you hold this down, you can get through the band like instantly. So if I want to get to Radio Todderbert, um, right there. So this is a really nice button, this quick tune. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, talk about the FM reception. So this radio on FM is is amazing. It's like, it's like, I don't know. I should have like a cool sound effect going, but this it's probably one of the best FM receivers I've ever reviewed. Um, it's going to get an excellent on the FM sensitivity and excellent on the FM selectivity. I say that because last night it was a good night too for listening. I tuned over 80 stations with this radio. 80. I counted them. I wrote them down as I went. You know, I did little marks on each station I found. It was listenable. If I could hear people talking and make out what they were saying, I uh, I counted it as as a station logged. So yeah, I couldn't. Have, it was amazing. I was inside the house too with the antenna raised, and it was just an amazing receiver. And then the selectivity, of course, was perfect because it's DSP. Um, it was right on the money. There was no fading. Once it locks in, it's it's in there. It's not going to change, which is really good. So, yeah, five-star rating on the FM. It's awesome. You guys are going to love this. So let's go ahead and do an audio test. I'm going to love this part because this thing sounds good. Play with the bass and trouble controls. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this up. Run for a couple minutes.
three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother... So I'm going to just turn that off. Awesome. So, yeah, hopefully I covered all that. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Let's do some uh, shortwave listening. Yeah, let's do that. So let's go to shortwave one. And what I'm going to do here is uh, go down there. you got to go to your – that's like there, right? Yep. So you got to select your filter for the shortwave and then select the bandwidth down there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hook up a wire to my antenna so I don't have to extend it. That'll be good. Let me just pop this loose on the back. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I got the Texan wire still in my west-facing window. We'll see if we can tune anything in with this setup. Okay. So let's go. The quick tune is really nice, so you can go right up to, you know, right to 5,000. Let's go back up. That's a nice thing. If you miss it, just keep hitting it. There we go. Turn up the game, turn down the game. Oops, here. Okay, you get the idea. So you can hit this button to seek up and see if we can find something. And it goes pretty quick and it's going through the broadcast bands. I was talking the Wide. So that's nice. A good setup. I love this. Sure. I'm going to tell you to do. I'm planning the show. 
to see if you're worthy to partake. Paul never said that. That's a distortion of what he said. He said, So you get 10 presets per band, which is kind of weak. So you get 10 presets on the AM, 10 presets on the FM, and 10 presets on shortwave 1, shortwave 2, shortwave 3, giving you a total of 50. It's pretty easy to use. You have memory and preset buttons. So to set the memory for the station, you would hit memory, it flashes. You can pick which spot to put it in of the 10. We'll put it in 1 and hit the button again. It locks in the preset. It's that simple. And if you go back to the preset, you just hit preset button. Cycle through. There's only 10 of them, so it'll take us right back to where we're at. So we'll scan up some more. So yeah, I really enjoy this. This is a great radio. I've been using this in a um, really cool uh, project, and I'll talk to you guys about that in my next video, um, where I have this hooked up to a recorder. And, and I'm recording the FM uh, signals, and I'll talk to you. It's going to be a lot of fun, so I'll save that as a surprise for next video. Yay! <laughs> But uh, this is a dedicated radio for that. But the short wave is really cool. I'm enjoying it. So we'll go up a little further and then we'll try out the medium wave a little bit. No bass. That could really help you tease out some voice there. Nice. One more shot here. And I'll uh, we'll go. Against you. He will not prevail. This is from the master plane. For and the then shortwave. Shortwave 2 uh, starts there and then shortwave. Three, there you go. So it's it's nice, and you can tune. Yeah, it goes all the way up to yeah twenty nine 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 nine, which is nice. You can hear the sea beers. You can hear a lot of a lot of cool ham traffic up here. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I don't hear anything now, but uh, it does cover the full band, which is nice. Love that. All right, so let's go ahead and do some medium wave and see what it can do. I'll go to AM, medium wave. There we are. And we'll, uh, I got some presets, so. Are you in good hands? Go through presets. Attention all authors. Page Publishing is looking for author 16. And there are no Cubs in the top 10 in war for pitchers in baseball. I'm plug my transformers so, here. There are some concerns, and you know, we didn't necessarily see anything from Kyle Hendricks today that makes you feel that much better about okay. it. He had you know, lasted five innings today, which we need the Cubs starters to go much further than that. It's 800 501 for your free. So I got my locals. Kit. Little Zoomer radio there, CFCM. Too late. Let's go wide on the filter. Nice. Yeah, I'd like to keep playing that. Um, just to see if it gets any long distance stations. Um, I gotta slow my antenna hooked up. So one thing about this is laying this flat and doing this. Let me go ahead and see if I can get 750 for you guys. Let's tune this up. Okay. So WSB Atlanta. And 630 he miles. Empties your shredder. They've emptied the shredder. And the whole flow is about abortion. Now why is this issue so important to you? So WGR Detroit. Oh, let's go up to WHAS, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. So KOA Denver coming in kind of weak. CJBC Toronto, 460 miles. And RBI single for Anthony Russo. 
Brand new game, 3-3 against the Tigers. Zach Zabin on 6-7 of the score. The Cubs going to beat the Tigers 5-3 inside Wrigley Field. Anthony Rizzo capping a streak of four straight. A world of difference in life. Um, it could institute a... Uh, a uh, so here's a... Uh, we have 1100, which is WTAM, Cleveland, Ohio, 345 miles. What else did I put on there? TMOX, St. Louis, Missouri. Something or someone's behavior that doesn't seem quite right. Another Cincinnati station. 1530 uh, WCKY, 300 miles. It's probably not. It's not about paranoia. KXEL, Waterloo, Iowa, about 200 miles. So then you got the Q tune. So you can actually go right through this band really fast and get to where you want. So let's see if we can get, pick up Nashville. Oh, passed it up. Let's go back through it again. Okay, so we'll go here. Yeah, I'm not picking up Nashville. That's all right. Check tickets now at GD. The infield is in. And Jeanette waits. And Jeanette swings and grounds to shortstop. And now the throw. And here comes the runner to the plate. He's safe. WLW Cincinnati. They're going to challenge him. Yeah. Well, I don't blame him. Plate on fire signal. Larry Cooper signal safe. All right, so we're going to turn this off here. So, yeah, you saw the display. How it showed the different bands, stepping, tuning up and down here, tuning with this, it's changing the speed of your tuning steps. You know, in AM, you do the one kilohertz, and it should be uh, with shortwave, it's a little different. I'll show you on shortwave. This is slow on shortwave. There you go. It's the same at one kilohertz steps, which is really nice. And you can Q-tune here too. I think I showed you that. I mean, this is like super fast to get through the the band. I mean, it's, that's amazing that you can get like that that quickly. So, just love it. Um, the two timers you saw, setting the alarm. I'm just trying to think if I went over everything with you guys. The mono stereo button, pretty basic stuff. Already, I told you the stereo was awesome. So yeah, okay. So that's it. We went over the entire radio, and we could probably revisit this with some band scans and that, and we'll talk more if I missed anything. But let's go ahead and turn this off. So it shows the time. Now, when you have this, like I said, this light switch on, it's going to stay on until indefinitely, until the batteries are dead. A little switches on the side here, which I, I think is nice. You can have it lit all the time if you'd like, especially when you're in AC power. And when you're in AC power too, that little battery symbol changes to a uh, plug-in icon. So it tells you that you're plugged in, which is nice. You're not running on batteries. So all right, let's do final thoughts on the Eaton Field BT Grundig Edition. Um, you get this for 99 bucks from Amazon. Uh, is it a good deal? Yeah, I love it. Um, I'm glad I got it. It's just it's, it's amazing radio. Uh, FM blows me away. The RDS is like so quick to respond, uh, enjoying it. The shortwave is really good for what this radio is. I'm really enjoying tuning uh, the shortwave bands. And the medium wave isn't half bad. It's not the best medium wave radio. It's not like an EP Pro or anything like that. But uh, it's it's fairly doable. I like it. I, I like the bass, uh, sorry, I keep pointing at this one. The bass treble controls are just really good. It sounds really good on the speaker. In person, it sounds really nice. And of course, the headphones. It's like, I don't even want to use a speaker. And oh, it's good the speaker is, but having headphones hooked up to this thing, it's just like a whole new world. <laughs> this thing is meant for headphones. Wow. It just, oh, if you're just, if you're into just listening to FM and you got some good clear stations coming in and you want to just kick back, Put those on with the stereo kicking in. Wow, is it just amazing. Just, uh, just a solid radio. I'm really happy to own this. Um, so, yeah, watch for a future episode with this radio. I'll talk about its purpose, why I bought this radio. Um, uh, I have a special purpose I'm using it for for the time being. And then, um, yeah, we'll talk more about this. We'll do some band scans, do some more medium wave band scan. We'll do some more short wave searching. Maybe I'll do a daytime. You know, i got to do a daytime short wave and a daytime AM scan so you guys can know what that's like around here, you know, near Chicago, Illinois. And, uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun with this radio. Um, definitely uh, a cool radio to own. I I'm really enjoying it. The only thing I don't like about it is the 50 presets. They need to do something about that. Um, as That is really a bummer. And, it man, would it be cool to have, like, a little BFO knob right here. <laughs> Single sideband. Something would be really nice. It would make this radio, like, the best. <laughs> so, uh, Eden, if you're listening, you know, get to it. 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, as usual, um, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon, get notified of new uh, video releases, and uh, comment section below. Talk about what you think about the Field BT Grundig Edition. Do you own it? Do you like it? Do you use it for special purposes? And let me know. I like to like to hear. And of course, give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and the presentation. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Take care and goodbye.